all of our families in Perth and my husband um, travels interstate and overseas quite a lot. So I'm by myself and sort of without family and I have um, Charlotte who is uh, about to turn three and Sebastian who is seven and a half months. I'd said to my mum, um, actually when Charlotte was born, oh, it would be great if there was a service, you know, or if there was some organisation that provided mums that don't have mums around. I was uh, at our paediatrician and I'd mentioned that, oh God, like I would, you know, would, I would love a, I love a bit more support and love to have, um, you know, a, a mum figure in, in Melbourne. And she actually, she provided me the brochure to Caring Mums and I thought, oh, this is what I've been looking for. We believe at Caring Mums that no woman should be alone on her journey of motherhood. So we created this amazing program, it's a volunteer program that provides emotional support to pregnant women and new mums. I was a new mom, um, had my first uh, child and I was completely overwhelmed uh, with the whole situation. I had one of my appointments with the maternal child health nurse. She gave me the brochure of Caring Moms and um, I thought that's a brilliant idea and so I reached out to Caring Moms. Caring Moms has meant for me that I have a surrogate family basically and I have someone coming in and supporting me and just helping me realise I can be a good mum and... Yeah. And you are a good mum, you're a fantastic yeah. mum. Motherhood really is one of the biggest transitions that women will ever face. And having somebody there who can bear witness to your journey, who can validate and normalise these amazingly new and exciting but often difficult situations is really what, what we at Caring Mum believe should be available to all new mothers and pregnant women. Being a new mom is such an overwhelming experience for nearly everyone and uh, it's not being talked about enough and I think that a lot of moms might be, um, you know, think it's a failure to seek support or uh, don't have the courage to reach out um, but I think it is so important we don't have the village that it takes to raise a child anymore so I think we need to uh, look for the village and build our own. I, I just think it's such a great initiative that really helps mums do the best job they can in what is the most challenging and yet you know most important time in their kids in their kids life. People should support caring mums because there's so many mums out there that don't have the support around them and you do need that support. I would really encourage people to support caring mums because in doing so it's enabling caring mums to reach out further and to, to add one person to each mum's village and to help them be the best version of themselves they can be by looking after themselves and allowing them you know, the space to be an even better parent. This program has recently had um, an, an outside evaluation done and it just really reaffirmed to us that what we already knew that what we're doing is making a huge difference to, to new mothers and pregnant women um, and therefore to, to their children as well. I had no idea what to expect and yeah, it's just been amazing. She's like my family now. You know, it's of enormous value to have, have something like this at that time and to, to make the journey easier and more enjoyable. In order for us to reach more mums, we need to be training more volunteers, we need to be running more supervision groups to make sure that, that the training and the, and the volunteers are being the best that they can be. Um, so we actually need to have increased funding. We need to be able to, to reach out to um, women who are in regional areas, women who are outside of inner Melbourne areas. We want a partnership with other programs and we want to be able to, to do this without um, in any way compromising the amazing quality that um, Caring Mums is, 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 is known for. Volunteers are an integral part of our organisation. They power the organisation. In fact, they enable us to achieve our mission of powering women and girls to create a better world. I'm really excited about the future and what the National Council can do in terms of working with women and girls. It's so important that um, women and girls have a voice um, and are empowered and I love the fact that this is really the core of what the organisation does. 